Good day. Um, today we're going to do lesson number six. Remember, lesson number one to five um, were revision lessons. Um, just a quick overview on the lesson. Firstly, it links to the DBE workbook, worksheet 33. Um, just quickly to show you, so it links to worksheet 33 in the DBE book. So we're going to do the number six. Um, here you've got um, everything that is related to the caps. So what do we need to cover? If you scroll down is here are all the resources that you need and then the dictionary is always a new word or maybe words that we will use in the lesson that you can always go back to. Um, the children um, don't have to learn these um, words. It's just for better understanding for parents or teachers. Uh, then we're going to start with the daily routine. So the first thing that you're going to do is daily routine. Um, you're going to ask about, is there any birthdays in the family? What's today's date? What is the time? What is the weather like? Uh, let's quickly show where is left, right, up, down. Um, and then every, in the school environment, who's absent today? But we can even ask um, at home, is there maybe somebody sick, not somebody not feeling well, and so on. So what we're going to do today is we're going to count and we work in the number range between 0 to 20. So let's quickly count. Let's start. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what I want you to do is to try this now by yourself. Very nice. I see you can count from 11 to 20. So let's quickly see what comes after 16. Yes, the number 17. If we ask what numbers come after 16, it will be 17, 18, 19, 20. Very nice. Remember, we can do this counting throughout the day. Um, repeat it for mommy or daddy, um, repeat it in the classroom. Okay, so we're going to start then with the mental mathematics. Remember the mental mathematics doesn't have to be a written activity. We can just ask it by doing it orally. Um, let's quickly see the first one. We need to circle the biggest number or just say the biggest number. So we have here a 3, a 7, a 9 and a 1. Which one is the biggest? Very nice. It is the number 9. Let's look at the next ones. 5, 4, 6, 1. Which one is the biggest? Excellent. It's number 6. Let's go to the next one. We've got 3, 10, 2, 6. Which is the biggest? Excellent. It's number 10. Let's go to number 4. 6395. Yes, that's correct. 9 is the biggest. 7126. Brilliant. 7 is the biggest. 4359. Clever child. 9 is the biggest. Four, five, nine, ten. Excellent, it's number ten. Six, three, four, eight. Excellent, it's number eight. The last two then, let's start with the second last one. Four, one, three, five. Which number is the biggest? Brilliant, it's number five. And the last one is 6, 10, 9, 7. Excellent. It's number 10. How did you do in this activity? Did you do it on your own? Did mommy or daddy or your teacher help you? Let's go to the next activity. So what you need to do is you need to have different objects, um, say for instance, 10 uh, pencils, crayons, counters, and 
your mommy or daddy or your teacher is going to place it on your table or you're going to take it from your container with your resources. So what I want you to do is I want you to pack out six of each. In this example, we have six pencils, six crayons, six counters. I want you to pause the video and then pack out six of any of the objects you have. After you're done with this activity, what you're going to do is you're then going to draw what you have packed out. Here is an example. So you draw then six pencils, six crayons, six counters. Well done. I hope you did very well with the introduction. Let's then start with the number six. Here you can see is a little poster with a number six um, on our SA Teacher e-resources. You can also purchase these posters to make it easier for you, or you can just use it on our interactive boards. Let's quickly see. This is number six. How many ants are there? Yes, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. How do we write the number six? We write it like this. So what I want you now to do is, is to write the number symbol with your finger in the air. That's nice. Now I want you to build the number symbol using small stones. You need to pause the video at this point. Welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the number symbol now with chalk on the board, if you're in the classroom, or just on a piece of paper, nice and big. Now what we want you to do is in your workbook, in your DBE workbook, or where you write the symbol, you're going to trace the symbol now with your finger. And lastly, you're going to write the number symbol now in your writing book. Let us repeat the same with the word. So firstly, we're going to write the word in the air. Build the number name using small stones. You need to pause the video now. Welcome back. Write the number name on your chalkboard. If it's in the classroom or write it on a piece of paper. Now trace that number with your finger. It's now time to write the number name then in your writing book. I want you now all to make a sentence with the word or the number six. My example is, my brother is six years old. Excellent, that's a brilliant sentence. Let's go to the next step. So what we're going to do and what you already have done is you have packed things out. So you were touching certain things and you were counting in six. Then what you did is you made some drawings. And what you're going to do now is you're going to complete a worksheet. Now you've got two options or you can go to the SA teacher worksheet and you can print it out. Or you can use your DBE worksheet. T 
teachers and parents, when the learners are done with this, you can go to the last page of the learner plan, uh, lesson plan. And what you can do is you can simply tick here, yes or no, to see how your learners or your child did. This will give you an indication. And this is always where we as, as a teacher will help you to intervene if your child struggled with this lesson. Thank you very much and we see you for the next lesson that will be then lesson number seven.